So even if you don't know algebra, you should still be able to figure out the answer to this problem as long as you understand percent. But algebra will make this problem much, much easier. But the, the actual question is 9% of 2x plus 1 is 50. And we're trying to determine the value of x in this problem. Now, feel free to use a calculator, but uh, go ahead and put your answer into the comment section. Then, of course, I want to walk through step-by-step -step how to solve this problem. But uh, before we get started, let me quickly introduce myself. My name is John, and I have been teaching middle and high school math for decades. And if you need help learning math, check out my math help program at tcmathacademy.com. You can find a link to that in the description below. And if this video helps you out, or if you just enjoy this content, make sure to like, and subscribe as that definitely helps me out. Now, as I kind of indicated, you don't need algebra uh, to solve this problem, but uh, you definitely need to understand percent. So let's do a quick review of percent right now. So we have 9% of some number is 50. Now we'll get uh, back to this actual or the actual problem here in just one second, but let's just kind of do a quick pop quiz and let's see if you can solve this problem right here. 70% of 120 is equal to what, right? So how do you find the percent of a number, right? So 70% of 120 is equal to what? And again, feel free to use a calculator, but let's go ahead and take a look at the answer. Okay, now to do this problem, what you have to do is you have to change your percent to a decimal. Now, how do you go from a percent to a decimal? Now, technically, you don't have to go to a decimal, but we have to get out of a percent. So you can go, um, you can convert or uh, write your percent as a decimal or a fraction. Okay, so the way to do that is to take this number and divide it by 100. So 70 divided by 100 is 0 0.70. Okay, now there's another way of doing that. So if I have 70.0%, what we can do is simply move uh, the decimal point over two places to the left, but that's just the result of dividing by 100. So what we need to do is get rid of that percent sign and multiply 120 either by 0 0.70 or 70 over 100. And typically most people are going to write uh, this percent or express it as a decimal. And that's pretty much what you should always do, uh, especially if you, have, if you have a calculator. So 70% of, of 120, again, we're gonna go ahead and uh, write that percent as a decimal, so that's 0 0.70 times 120, and that is equal to 84. But let's take a look at how we can kind of express all the relationship between all these numbers. So 70% of 120 is 84. 70% of 120 is 84. So this is, that word right there in mathematics means the equal sign. Okay, so 70% of 120 is 84. Now let's go back to our problem here. So we have 9% of 2x plus 1 is 50. So this is right here is actually an equal sign. So we're taking 9% of this number. Okay, so we would literally uh, kind of just do the same thing, right? So we take this 9% and write this as a decimal. So that would be what? Well, that would be 0.09, okay, or 9 divided by 100. So not 0.9, okay, that's 90%, uh, right? So 90% is equal to 0.9. 9% is equal to 0 0.09. So we're taking that 0 0.09 and we're multiplying it by this uh, number here, okay? But we know that the answer is equal to 50. So if I gave you this problem right here, okay, let me go ahead and show you this, 70% of what number is 84? Now this is a basic type of percent problem that again, if you don't know algebra, but you're strong with percent, you should be able to figure this out. Now, I'm not gonna teach you how to do this, but uh, hopefully uh, most of you out there understand enough about percent to kind of reverse engineer and get the um, answer, which of course is 120. Now, the reason why I'm reviewing a basic percent is because that's what we need to kind of uh, follow these concepts to solve this problem. And uh, I said that you could do this without algebra, but it really makes it much more difficult. Okay? In other words, we would be basically assuming that you can uh, solve this problem down here, right? So 70% of what number is 84? 
Well, we can kind of just get the answer to 9% of what number is 50 and then just kind of play around with that number and then 2x plus 1 and try to come up with values to figure out what x is equal to. Well, there's a much better way to uh, solve this problem, and that, of course, involves algebra. Okay, so here we have 9% of 2x plus 1 is 50. Now, let's see if you can set up an algebraic equation to um, solve this problem. Now, I'm not going to solve the equation just yet, but let's see if you can use everything that I just kind of showed you right here to set up or translate this problem into an equation, all right? So remember, the word is is the uh, equal sign in mathematics, and I pretty much already kind of set this up, so let's go ahead and take a look at the answer. So 9% of 2x plus 1 is 50 is equal to the algebraic equation 0 0.09, right? So we have to take 9% and write it as a decimal. So that's 0 0.09 times whatever this number is. So that number is some value, but we're going to multiply uh, 0 0.09 times 2x plus 1. We just know that the answer is equal to 50. Okay, so here is the equation that we uh, want to solve. So if we, could, if we can solve 0 0.09 times 2x plus 1 is equal to 50 uh, for x, well, then we will have solved the problem. Okay, so let's go ahead and actually do that uh, right now. So we have 0 0.09 times 2x plus 1. So the first thing that we need to do is multiply this decimal times uh, this 0 0.09. Uh, times 2 and 1. We have to apply the distributor property. So 0 0.09 times 2 is 0.18x. And then 0 0.09 times this one, of course, is 0 0.09. So we have 0.18x plus 0 0.09 is equal to 50. All right, so let's go ahead and take the next step, which, of course, is having you quickly subscribe to my YouTube channel. Now, I uh, wouldn't stop this lovely math video if I didn't need your support. Now, I've been on YouTube for a long time. Matter of fact, I started my channel like 14 years ago, and I pretty much forgot about it for many years. Maybe I posted a video or two here and there, but I really didn't put a lot of effort into my channel, and the results kind of showed. But maybe about five, six years ago, I really started to try to get better with YouTube and really with my videos, and I put a lot of effort in over a sustained period of time, and the results kind of showed for it. And that's the same thing with learning mathematics. If you're trying to learn math, if you do a little bit here, a little bit there, you're not going to get that far, okay? But if you really want to uh, learn math, you got to get immersed and focused in the subject. And it's not just math or YouTube. It's pretty much anything that we decide to focus on. But my channel is all about trying to make math clear and understandable and interesting. But I need your support. And the best way you can support uh, this channel is uh, simply to hit that subscribe button and that bell notification. But my goal is to reach as many people as possible on YouTube. Now, if you like my teaching style and you have a need to really learn mathematics, well, check out my full main math courses. You'll find links to those in the description of this video. And what we're talking about here is a basic percent, basic algebra. So a couple of quick uh, recommendations for you uh, in terms of uh, courses that you might want to check out is my Math Skills Rebuilder course and or maybe my Pre-Algebra course. That's kind of the level of math that we're talking about. Okay, so let's go ahead and solve this equation here. So we have uh, 0.18x plus 0 0.09 is equal to 50. So just kind of back up here. So here is our actual equation, right? So we have 0 0.09 times 2x plus 1 is equal to 50. This is 9% of 2x plus 1 is 50. So we use the distributor property to multiply 0 0.09 times 2. Again, we're using our calculator. So 0 0.09 times 2 is 0.18x. And then 0 0.09 times this 1 right there is 0 0.09 is equal to 50. Now, what we want to do now is move all of our numbers to the right-hand side and keep all of our variable terms on the left. So we're simply going to subtract 0 0.09 uh, from both sides of the equation, right? And then we're going to add down in a column manner. So 0.18x plus nothing is 0.18x. Positive 0 0.09 minus uh, 0 0.09 is 0. We don't need to write that. But 50 minus 0 0.09 is 49.91. Okay, so to solve for x, all we have to do is simply divide both sides of the equation by 0 0.18. 
And in our calculator, we're going to go 49.91 divided by 0.18, and we're going to get a, we're going to get approximately uh, two uh, two seven seven point two seven. Okay, so that is the correct answer. And uh, for those of you that may not know, uh, solving percent problems, a great way to solve a lot of percent problems. Matter of fact, my preferred way outside of the simple percent problems is using algebra, right? Now, there's other techniques that you could uh, use to solve percent problems, but I'm going to tell you right now, uh, algebra, uh, how to solve or learning algebra to solve percent problems is very, very useful. Okay, so hopefully, you know, those of you out there that didn't know the answer to this uh, question, you know, learned something about percent or algebra. But uh, here's the deal, okay? If you don't know the answer to a math problem, never feel bad, right? So what you're lacking is just some skill, some sort of understanding. But learning math does take time, right? So make sure you put in the effort and practice, practice, practice. Okay, so with all that being said, I definitely wish you all the best in your math adventures. Thank you for your time, and have a great day.